All right, guys, it's Jimmy. Welcome back to the channel once again. Uh, today I got a quick little video I want to show you. So uh, you can tell by the title, I'm going to get down by the truck. We'll make this a real quick one. So here we go. All right, so for new people, this is my 2002 7.3. And uh, obviously you can see it's all swapped in here. So I have tons of videos on that. And um, today I was actually pulling the headliner down because I was working on these weather strips and stuff because I messed up the cab just a little bit here when I took it off. Uh, but not really a big deal. I was able to get it back. But um, I am just figured while I have this down, I might as well show you what it what it is since I have never made a video really about this. So you have these three wires, or whatever. I'll throw a chart up on the screen. Those are really easy. Just kind of cut and splice them together. And uh, I'll start, like I said, I'll throw that chart up on the screen. But uh, another important part is to get your um, visor in here to mount. I actually had to trim a little bit out. So this is originally like a circular shape. So I had to cut this little extra square out here, maybe half inch or so down. And then across, I just used a Dremel. And um, I was able to get that a little bit widened because it doesn't fit just right. Um, and I'll show you those mounted up in a second, but you gotta do this on that side uh, for this hole. And there's one on that side too, right there. And uh, that'll help you get your visors up. And uh, now we'll put the headliner up real quick. I'll show you what it looks like and uh, how I'm gonna do that. And also, if you uh, don't have the trim pieces off the 08 one, I, I recommend getting them because this won't line up really that well, and uh, especially this piece up here, there'll be a gap, I think. So um, definitely get these grab handles. I got a video on that, throw that in the description. These are really easy to put on. And uh, this is basically the same thing. It just kind of clips in, easy. All right, now I got the headliner set in, and a little tip if you're having trouble and you don't wanna take these grab handles off, or this back piece. Um, what I did was I put the headliner slanted this way. I put the back two pieces in like that in these corners, this corner and that corner, and I kind of slide them back. And then there's just enough room to squish this piece up above this lip right here and get that there. So um, that's how you can get it in without really having to take these off because that kind of wastes more time that you don't really need to do um, because this is easily just kind of get it in this way. But anyway, now I will take my visors here, both sides, which I've already obviously mounted up. And um, you can see here that the hole is a little bit bigger than it originally was. And I'll get it to sit a little bit uh, down and to the right. As you can see, my new mark here sits here. So it's not gonna be exactly perfect unless you can kind of shift this and play with it. But it's really, really close to where it originally has to go. You can kind of see the hole is getting cut off right here. So, um, it's really, really close to where it has to go, and this works fine, it'll look fine. I'll show you what it looks like once I get this on, so here we go. One thing I also forgot to mention is uh, this piece that kind of holds your visor in place, when it comes up here, it actually has to go this way, and because I originally on the truck, it's something like this, but that doesn't work, so what you do in here is you have this little clip, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a little clip and it, there's a little bit of wiggle room in it and you're gonna slide it up. And then you're gonna be able to do this. Since the tab's on the bottom, you slide it up, put it in, put your screw in, and it'll go right in. All right, so just for example here, this is an O2 truck that I have, another one, obviously with the stock dash and everything. Um, this is a piece I'm talking about right here. See, it's originally this way, it's facing up. Um, the 08 one, you got to turn it around, like I said, and push that piece up so that the tab can stick through and you can get your uh, screw in there. As you can see now, I got this one mounted and it's it's really good. It's just basically like stock. So uh, that's that. I'll put the rest of the visor on. This this piece, like I said, is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get on, but once you get it, you'll, you'll be fine. So here we go. All right, so now I got both of the visors on here and you can see they fold down and everything work. Um, there's just this little gap here that, I mean, I'm not really worried about. That's just the way that it came out. Um, it's like so small though. You can't even realize that it's there. And this side looks even better. So, I mean, it takes a little bit of playing, but obviously, honestly, you're never ever gonna see that when you fold it up. So I don't really care about that, but that looks good. And uh, that's just how you get those in. And uh, now I'll tell you a little bit about these hooks back here. And so far, I haven't really come up with a solution for these hooks because I've never used them. But if I want them for a show, they kind of just stick there and will sit there as I want them to. 
But another solution here is, since there's nothing really up here, I took the original things out, I think. Um, or I guess the original one goes up with the screw and it kind of splits itself apart with the screw and it locks in here. But what I was thinking is you can take like a little butterfly nut. If you ever heard of that, I'll throw a picture on if I can find one. And it's like a little spring-loaded thing. It goes in here and then uh, it'll, it'll open itself up. And uh, that might help to get a get a screw through the air bolt and help tighten that. Or um, you could weld a nut or something in there. Something like that. I haven't really done anything with it because I don't really care about these right now. But I can just stick them here as like a placeholder and just look fine. But uh, yeah, I don't really carry nice clothes or hangers or anything in here. So I don't really need them. But uh, I just wanted to throw a couple options out there. Or one more option here is to take one of these, which would be uh, originally from the front up here somewhere. Um, I took it off the spare truck I was working on, but this is just like a little clip and you screw your screw into here. You can make this hole a little bit wider, cut that out and shimmy that up in there and then use that. That'll work fine. But uh, like I said, uh, just given a couple options. And so that's basically it with the headliner up here. I mean, it makes the truck look so much better. And uh, it really matches the rest of what I've done in here. So it's definitely a crucial upgrade uh, if you want the interior to be a legit swap and uh, a good one. So this uh, kind of completes it here with the headliner. But uh, I just wanted to show this video for those of you who are wondering because I know I never showed you guys what I did here. So that's why I'm making this video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a real quick one that I figured I'd get out while I had the headliner out. But um, like I said, if you're new, uh, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, if you like to see things like this, uh, this is definitely stuff I do on a daily basis with the truck and with other things. I film a lot and make a lot of videos. So if definitely if you're new, go down there, hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. But uh, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and uh, comment and uh, definitely stay tuned for the rest of my videos I got more coming and uh, this is a little short one so I'll leave it there and uh, you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video